Loud Ass Pass has been dominating the Valorant Pro scene for a while due to his aggressive but disciplined playstyle. Go for one more. Oh, wait, you're giving them respect? Bro, your ass pass. He is deemed to be a worse nightmare for most teams because of how dangerous he is during the game. But what makes him so different to every other pro player inside of Valorant? Well, I'm going to be breaking down his gameplay so that you can learn some insane mechanics and replicate his playstyle in your next ranked game. The first thing he does which makes him so hard to play against is his confidence to re-peak his enemies and punish them even when under huge amounts of pressure. Usually when you get forced off an angle by enemy util, you will reposition somewhere further back and give up the space that's being contested. No matter what util you try to throw at him, he'll try to re-peak and catch you off guard as the enemies go to try and take space. What I really like from this one clip is how aggressive and close he gets to the enemies, giving them no room to breathe. To end this clip, I like how he doesn't go for a reaction shot where you would flick and shoot as soon as you see the enemy, which is unlikely that you'll actually hit the shot. Instead, he's very calm and collective as he sees the Rainer not knowing where he is, so he makes sure to stay calm, track the Rainer and guarantee himself that kill. This is a common aim mistake made by lots of players, and this is one of many things that separates his aim from the rest. Pushing Aspas is really difficult for the opponents as you'll never know when he'll re-peak. Playing like this is great for duelists as their main role is to try and take a duel and confidently win it, giving their team the player advantage. This is because most duelists have abilities that will help them easily disengage in a fight, which gives them a chance to not get traded as soon as they make the first contact. If you're playing duelist and not trying to get that first contact at the start of the round, then you're playing the duelist role completely wrong. He manages to punish a lot of teams by confidently re-peaking, mainly using the operator on the defensive sided rounds, and he's very disciplined on when to go for a re-peak without it being too risky. Whether he hits his op shot or not, his movement and ability usage is incredible making him such a hard target to hit. He can assess the situation instantly and decide whether he wants to retreat and play with his team or quickly reposition and repeat the enemies. What can he, find? Shot. he usually gets a teammate to help him safely push up into an unsafe area to try catch the opponents off guard. He also likes to take enemy space as soon as his team has somewhat of an idea of where the enemies are. For example, in this clip, his teammate uses a sky dog to clear out A main, which allows Aspas to push up, get a quick kill, and give them a constant stream of information on whether they're going A or not. So this allows the team to stack up on the B site, as they know Aspas will either hear the enemies or make contact if they're rotating to A site. This pushed up angle is a lot better than playing somewhere like behind screens as being pushed up will give a bigger chance of Aspas catching a player off guard and also Aspas will hear the enemies rotating a lot sooner than if he was playing somewhere like screens and therefore it gives his teammates so much more time to rotate to the A side. So these are just some things he mainly does on defence. Now it's time to look at his entry and see exactly what he does. One thing I really like about him when he's playing attack is how he instantly takes space as soon as he knows the site's cleared for his team. For example, in this clip, he wins the first duel on the chamber and manages to kill the second A player. Instead of him going onto site and holding heaven like most players would do, he instantly starts taking more control by pushing into screens and holding an angle. This allows his team to just need to watch the enemies coming from heaven and flank. Notice how he doesn't push up too far here, as him bringing the fight to them would probably give him a disadvantage fight which he doesn't want to take. He does manage to get a kill on the raise, but if no one cleared him and his teammates lost fights from heaven, then he would still be in a very impactful position as he's able to watch the cross onto site. This is exactly how the duelist role should be played. As soon as you entry for your team, try to instantly take more space while the enemies are still rotating and it makes it much easier for your teammates to hold the site. Here's another clip for example. His entry is pretty straightforward as he gets a free kill on the raise and kills the Astra who tries to catch a timing. However, his positioning on the next kill here is really good. Notice how he's hugged up against his back wall to allow himself as much time to react to the sky peaking as possible. I also like how he positions himself against this jet. He knows this jet is most likely going to come from drop as the viper wall is covering heaven. He positions himself against this back wall in sight, which forces this jet to come really far out from cover to make contact with him. This is really good as any one of his teammates can easily trade him and from the jet's POV, they'll be constantly paranoid 
that someone from backside or tree will peek him so that it makes him hard to clear Aspas without being traded. As this jet is in a 4v2 situation, he needs to isolate 1v1s if he wants any chance of winning the round, but Aspas makes it almost impossible for him to do so. The third clip here, and it's mainly just to show when or when not to push too far. As you can see, it's quite similar from the other clip on Split, as he immediately kills both A players, so he knows the site is clear. However, with the jet knives and a dash still to be used, he knows he can potentially get another kill, catching the B players rotating while his dash is still active, and he can easily dash to safety at any moment of time. He manages to get an easy kill on the Neon and pretty much secures the round. Let's not forget that he must have put thousands of hours into this game to get to this point. You can tell he has mastered his role and the agent Jet especially from the way he instantly can react to any situation and make the right decision every time. Obviously things like this cannot be taught and it's simply just from playing the game, however if you implement his playstyle and strategies into your games then I'm sure you'll quickly learn from your mistakes and after some time you'll be dominating ranked just like Aspas. I've not really talked much about aim so if you want me to break down more of his clips and understand what makes his aim so good, then comment down below and I'll make sure to make a video on that. Hope you've enjoyed today's video and learned something new. Spin your boy critical. Peace out.